Like, whatever, here, take it, kid. Get out of my face, you're weird. Hey, yo, what's up, dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, happy New Year, guys. Uh, happy 2021, you know. Uh, new Year, new me. But uh, as I like to say, uh, same shit, different anus, as my boy says it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to the homie. Anyways, guys, uh, it's been a while since I did a food review. I'm back at it again uh, with those white vans, Stussy Man. And today we're going to review something uh, new, something weird, something cool. You know, it's, it's how it goes in this channel. But uh, I introduce to you Starbucks Gum Peppermint, dude. Let's see if we can zoom in on that uh, in post-production. But yeah, dude, it's it's kind of weird because you, you don't expect it to exist. But there it is right in my hands, um, staring me down. Uh, this is actual proof that God hates me. But, <laughs> you know, like in all seriousness, uh, it's just weird. Why would Starbucks sell gum? I mean, if you look at it, you know, in an economic standpoint, you know, you see people going into the Starbucks and they order maybe a drink and then they want some gum. You know, it's like a little convenience store. So economically, it makes sense if they sell gum. But that's not the case. You know what I'm saying, dude. Gum at a freaking coffee shop. Come on. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, some little context of the story of how I got it. I actually was, um, actually, I hate to admit this. I hate Starbucks with a passion. If I'm going to pay $6 for a drink, uh, it's got to be two monsters. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to pay one dr one drink for $6. It's a big one. No, thank you, dude. Uh, give it, it's a fruit smoothie. I usually order like a frappe or something like that. Uh, give or take, it's like still about 6 bucks or something. It's not worth it. Even a regular coffee, I feel like it's too much. I'd rather go to, uh, let's say, 7-Eleven or AM, PM for coffee. So I'm not going to spend that much for coffee. But anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, I was at 70, I was at the rare occasion I go to Starbucks. And, you know, I ordered myself a frappe. You know, I said, let me get that vanilla bean. Let me get that vanilla bean with the two puree, with the three puree of uh, strawberry and banana. Let me get that, uh, uh, fuck it and make it come. You know what I'm saying? I like that i was kind of you know how people are at starbucks they go let me get that half and half with the three shot mocha frappuccino and the and the mixture like it likes her let me get that likes her like bro just give me a coffee anyways i was there i got myself a little drink and i saw this shouting at me i know food can't shout but i saw it shouting at me through the through a little advertisement so i say hey let me take one of your gums and they looked at me in the eyes they're like who orders the gum at starbucks and they're like whatever here take a kid Get out of my face, you're weird. And here we are. We're here right now, today, in this beautiful glory day, uh, January January 8th on a Friday. Here we are. And let's just say, uh, let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's enough context of the story. F frick you. All right, guys, so let's open this bad boy up. Uh, there's this green sliver that you have to like go like that. And then you have to invade it like the Capitol building. All right, there you go. Check it out, boys. It's gum! It's gum, dude! Uh, heads up before we eat the gum. It's five calories and there's nine servings. And there's uh, serving sizes for two pieces. That's that's all you gotta know. That's all you gotta know. That's all I gotta know. I don't even care. It's like it's like the, those gums that you used to steal from your friends in school. I forgot what they were called. Chicks, maybe? I don't know. Let's open it up. All right, guys, here it goes. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Walter, why are you autistic? Why are you reviewing gum? Well, you know, it's interesting, you know? I like to do weird stuff that you don't expect to get somewhere uh, that serves coffee or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you'll know, you'll see burgers at McDonald's. I mean, burgers at, like, Subway. I don't know. I don't know. That's too hard. What the frick, dude? It do be hidden. It do be hidden. That's the main takeaway. It do be hidden, that's for sure. But it's not it's not crazy. It's not crunchy. Well it is kind of crunchy and hard. That's it. That's why it was really crunchy. I do feel the the mint. The mint is hidden, so that means like my my breath is fresh. So I hope you guys can smell it. There you go. Get a whip at home, kids. I just gave you COVID through the screen. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just kidding. I ain't got COVID. It's just a mint. <laughs> That's it. 
Now I paid $2.99 for these bad boys. I'm pretty sure you could probably get gum way cheaper. Or you could bug your friends at school for one for free. So um, in that, with that being said, I think this gum is a, is a definite 2.5 out of 5, in my opinion. I wouldn't go to Starbucks just to buy this gum. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to make it. Although I do have two packs of nine, so, you know, that kind of does make it a little worth it. At least for the price, I guess. I don't know. Quantity over quality, I guess, as you would say. But, uh, you know, that, that's uh, that's my take. I'll just give it a three, two out of five. Two out of five, that's it. That's what I'm sticking to it, boys. Uh, would would not recommend, but, I mean, who cares? You know, you're going to go buy it anyways. Who cares? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching that. Um, I do want to say RIP to Tommy Lazorda, dude. That shit's wild. RIP, man. It's crazy. But, I mean, hey, at least uh, at least now he, he can finally live happy. Or he can now rest easy knowing that the Dodgers won this World Series and he saw it for, for the last time. So, RIP. And uh, before I walk out, can you hit a curve? <clears throat>